are getting stanky in the CI kitchen today, <laughs> talking about cheese and wine for National Dairy Month with meteorologist Jacob Dickey. He's joining us for cooking up a storm. It's that blue cheese is what it is here, but uh, that's the stanky. A little bit. You know, you can have a blue or a gorgonzola that has that smelly, smellier. It's delicious. Don't oh, get me wrong. If it's cheese stink, I don't mind yeah. at all. It's when it's my own stink that I that I decide n no. <laughs> Okay, coming up, we've got <laughs> red wine to talk. Yeah, we're gonna try and forget that with some some wine. Yeah, and cheese we'll forget that. Here, right. <laughs> uh, this here is my three choices. So of course, last time, if, you know, moments ago, we talked about my six favorite cheeses that can go with a red wine. But any cheese goes with you know any wine usually. But these are my picks that I tend to lean towards. So we picked six cheeses that are a little more stronger, a little more edgy in flavor that can complement a red wine. Because a red wine, I like a dry red wine. I'm more of a dry red wine guy. I think it's my personality. I don't really. Me know. too. Um, but we've picked three of my six to match with three different types of wine here. And that's what this little plate right here is. The first one we're going to match is that sharp cheddar. That sharp cheddar, a classic, a staple. This one's actually going to go very nicely with a Cabernet Savion. Uh, that sharp flavor, a little bit of the, the punch to it, will complement that dryness of the wine well here. And so if you want to have a glass and just sample it, you know, a cab is actually one of my favorites. This goes good with beef. Have a nice steak or a nice beef meal, a cab is the way to go with that. Give me a bloody red and a... Hunk of steak. Right? I'm so, good. <laughs> so this cheddar here, the sharp cheddar, even the sharper the better. I don't want to go extra sharp. Um, but the sharp will work very well. Okay, let's try. And complement with Cheers, this. too. Cheers, right? To see I live in. Mmm. Perfect. Okay. Has that edge to it. So it's a really good, really good match there. Are we doing Gouda next? We are doing Gouda next. Of course, this is my second favorite cheese behind Munster. It's uh, nice and creamy, but it breaks apart in your fingers when you, when you mush it together. Uh, it has a nice little fragrance to it, a little bit. You know, you taught me this. I'm like going to use this as a marker of good Gouda. You know, on the dairy time. foods team when I was in FFA, we had to memorize, it was like 25 different cheeses, and we had to know how they were based on, you know, just the blank plate here. So I wish I learned that in school. Yeah, a lot of fun, right? Uh, I can't even do long division anymore, the, the, but yeah. I can remember that. The <laughs> other part of the contest was the milk samples, if you've ever seen Napoleon Dynamite. Literally, he drinks the milk and, oh, it has oh, garlic yes, in it. Oh, yeah. yes, yes. That's exactly what we did. Uh, so maybe next n next year, okay, we'll come back and we can sample some sour milk. So what is going with our Gouda? Gouda. Gouda is good cheese. It goes with the Merlot here. The Merlot is a bit more medium. This is a better red wine for a novice drinker. Uh, and it's still flavorful, but a little more mild, a little more fruity, too. And so that Gouda cheese, that nice, smooth flavor of that complements that really well. And uh, so that's why I like a Merlot with that. But Merlot, for anyone who likes red wine, is usually a, a good... I'm kind of tempted to say it kind of has an oaky afterbirth. There you go. From the office. Come on. Right. We've been talking office there, quotes behind. back here. All right, <laughs> we got the last one here. We're getting we're getting cued out of here. Uh, the last one is my uh, my blue cheese and a blue cheese I've got with a Shiraz. The Shiraz is a bold and a uh, full wine, but it's still dry. It's got a robust flavor to it. I actually really like a Shiraz. I didn't really start drinking it until about a year or two ago, mm. and it's got a nice flavor to it. That's what I have with my blue cheese. Ooh, okay. I think that's your toothpick. Let me grab this one. So you can tell a little bit stronger than the Merlot, but not as smoky as the Cap. That's got like a punch to it. It does, yeah. So you can really complement with a red wine some of the stronger cheese flavors. You want to play it safe? The white wines go with some smoother, creamier flavors. And, of course, all of those are on CILiving.tv. They're also on my Facebook yes. page for National Dairy Month. Remember, go to the store when you buy your groceries, buy an extra block of cheese, support our dairy farmers. And I think you and I are going to head out back and finish this off, right? right. <laughs>